What a great day. Suffering and they're having a party. Eureka! Has me tuckered out. I'm gonna sit this one out. <laughs> ah, peace and quiet. And a little snack, too. Not again! Just the place for me. Just in time for the fights. It Get me out of here. Hey! Oh, no! the license number of that little striped truck. <laughs> A cave. and quiet at last.
much better. Iggy, dear, stop practicing now. It's time for lunch. Come on, Grandma. Yikes! <laughs> No more Mr. Nice Cat. That trombone has got to go. You're just getting so good, isn't he, Grandpa? I just can't sit still when I hear you play. It's, it's just like the good old days with the big band. As soon as I'm done eating, I'm going to go put in another two hours of practice. Not if I can help it. <laughs> Well, that's that. Oh, it can't be. Give me that. This is going to be harder than I thought. Some cats just don't know how to listen to fine music. Lover's Leap. Oh, that's perfect. So long. Can't say it's been nice knowing you. It's a nice day. Huh? I'm sitting on a limb, soaking up the sun, and I says to myself, nothing could ruin a beautiful day like today. How about it if I say, I'm sorry? I accept your apology. Oh, it's a good thing Iggy doesn't play the piano. Huh? A traveling carnival? That gives me an idea. No one will notice a trombone with all those other prizes. Isn't there any place I can get rid of this thing? The post office. Why didn't I think of that before? back from outer Mongolia. Oh no, I forgot the stamps. You can't do this to me. I try and try, but you just keep coming back. Take that, you, you, you trombone. Heathcliff? Heathcliff, have you seen my trombone? I wonder what happened to it. Oh well, Grandpa says if we can't find it, he'll buy me a tuba. Grandpa says there's nothing like a sleep in the deep played on a good, loud tuba. <laughs> I'm so excited. I haven't seen my cousin Lindsay since we were both kittens. Hey, relax. Don't worry about a thing. The boys and I'll treat her like one of the gang. You better not. My cousin's a shy, sweet girl from a small mountain town. Mm, sounds good to me. And the first one of you bums that steps out of line answers to me. Got it? Hey, here comes the bus. 
in town. I always feel safe when I'm with you. It's so romantic down here. Great, but now you've seen it. Let's get going. Watch a hurry, pal. Well, it's most cute. Look, Riffy, we got company. Riffy, now ain't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> they seem like fun. Are they friends of yours, too? Not exactly. Let's get out of here. You're not going anywhere. You hear what I said, pal? I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Now, I know you're just playing, but you gotta be more careful. You almost pushed my rip in the water. Get him, boys! Yeah! to say. I knew the boss wouldn't cheat on Cleo. He was framed. I never believed it for a minute. That's better. Now I got a plan and you're all gonna help. Gather round. Just a little token from us to you. That's so kind of you. We can 
think to take you out on the town. There's plenty to do. We'll show it to you. <laughs> what about Rick Ryan? Uh, he had to take care of some business. It was his idea for us to take you out. He didn't want you to be lonely. My sweet darling thing. Boys, I'm all yours. Oh. <laughs> Why, you must be Cousin Cleo. Why, you're prettier than a speckled lizard after a spring rain. And who are you? My name's Earl Sugarbub. I'm your cousin Lindsay's one and only. Now, where is the little heifer? I'm sorry she stepped up for a while. Ain't that a shame? Because I got a powerful strong hankering to see this city of yours. Hey, maybe you could show me around. Well, gee, I'd love to, but... Uh... I know you and me is gonna have a humdinger of a time. Hey, look at that clown Cleo's with. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee in a few minutes, this will be the hottest place in town. I appreciate you seeing me off tonight, honey. I gotta get back home. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Y'all have to excuse me for a minute. I got a powerful sweet tooth. I'm gonna get me some candy. Uh-huh, I finally caught up with you. Caught up with you? What are you talking about? I've been following you and that backwards Romeo all night. But you don't understand. No, but that sawed-off hillbilly's gonna understand. I'm gonna teach that creep a lesson he'll never forget. <laughs> Put up your dukes, you hay baler. You want a ruckus? You got it, pal. Ow! Ooh! Ow! Ooch! Oops, y'all! What in the world's going on back there? Maybe we better care. Oof! Ow! Eek! Oof! Now I got you. I'm so glad you're here. Riff Raff is fighting with your boyfriend, Earl. Who? Huh? Take that! I'm sorry you had to hear that, Lindsay, but your boyfriend was asking for it, and I gave it to him. But I don't have no boyfriend. Hey, any guy that would follow you here all the way from home must like you an awful lot. What's that? That's your boyfriend on his way home. Well, I don't know who he is, but if he's going home, that's where I ought to be, too. Bye-bye, everybody! You were wonderful. I did it all for you, baby. and I promise I'll never mistrust you again. I'm gonna make it up to you starting right now. Is there anything I can get, my hero? Why, I wouldn't mind some nice, cool lemonade, sugar plum. Why, you? No! Wait! <laughs> Girls. Let Professor Heathcliff show you the correct way to bathe a dirty cat. First, place a rubber mat down so your cat won't slip. Then fill with warm water. Hold your cat gently, but firmly, and start to wash him. Finally, rinse off the cat using a large sponge or, if possible, a spray bottle. Dry your cat off with a towel, and voila! A Professor Heathcliff cat bath. <laughs>